Pillions. So this morning, Sterling is doing really good. He finally shed, and it was absolutely terrifying. This was yesterday. It was super scary because one of his eyes is like white over it, and we were terrified that he lost that eye. But I took him to the vet yesterday morning, and he said everything looks good. He actually said that he thinks Sterling is regaining some of that vision back in his eyes, which is exciting. He said all that white over that one eye is scar tissue, and that was actually the eye that looked the most normal. They ended up losing a lot of necrotic tissue. The eye that was like three times the size is now almost back to its normal size. So that is super exciting. He shed, and he immediately felt better. Like you could just tell, which is so crazy to me how all animals have like personality traits I guess but yeah you could tell that he felt better for the last week or two however long this has been going on he has been just hiding in his hot hide all the time and he shed and he immediately came out and he was poking at the screen top to his tank which is what he does when he wants to be taken out and he was just back to his normal self which was the sweetest thing and it made me really happy look at look at this look at this view that I have of this rope fish. My children call him a snake fish. These guys are so cool but you have to make sure that they can't escape because they will try to escape. Other than that, I have been working on the hide for the blue tongue skink that I will be getting. got his tank started right now everything's just thrown there it's not gonna look like this I just threw in the pieces that I might use in there tomorrow I'm gonna be going to Repticon and I am super excited about that that is all I got for you guys today so see you at Repticon bye so I just got back from Repticon I was gonna vlog on the way there and honestly I forgot so that's crazy. My hair looks crazy in this iPhone camera. I promise it's not this purple. Wow, that's insane. Look like a crazy person. Anyways, so I went to Repticon. I didn't get any cork bark or anything like that. They didn't have any that I liked, but I did get a giant piece of driftwood that's gonna be really cool for a uh, hide slash basking spot for the blue tongue. I didn't really get much there, but I think I'm good as far as the setup goes for the blue tongue skink. And we are about to go to the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna see what I can get from the Dollar Tree for the tank. I do need some fake plants and stuff like that and Dollar Tree sometimes is really good about having that kind of stuff. And I'm also kind of thinking about doing a video maybe with like a dollar store, Dollar Tree set up for a baby leopard gecko. Obviously we're not gonna be able to get the heat pad and thermostat from the Dollar Tree, but we'll be able to get most of the other stuff. And I kind of just want to see, I don't want to do like an X amount set up but I do want to try to see just how cheap of a setup that I can make that's still going to provide everything that a leopard gecko is going to need. If you've seen my past videos, you know that I love to save me some money. So I want to see how much money we can save. But it's not going to be a permanent setup. This is going to be solely, strictly, this is going to be very strictly temporary setup, not for an adult leopard gecko and not permanently. I, every time I go to Repticon, I'm looking for crocodile skinks and I have yet to find one. Out of all the Repticons I've been to in the years that I've been there, it's probably just me. It's probably just me not going to ones that have them, but I've been to one Repticon that had crocodile skinks and at that time we had no money to buy them. And I need a crocodile skink. So if you guys know where I can get a captive bred crocodile skink, then let me know. But until then, I'm just gonna have to keep searching for one, I guess. But anyways, that's all I have for right now, bye. So in this next clip, we're gonna watch Sterling swallowing his dinner, which is a frozen thawed rat. If you are not okay with that, I highly suggest that you pause the video now and go to the timestamp that is on the screen. I'm about 
to go to bed and I wanted to show you guys this. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on Sterling. I made a comment earlier about animals having different personalities and being able to kind of tell when an animal is feeling good versus when they're feeling bad when you know that animal. This is Sterling feeling good. This is what he does. He's currently on a completely sterile setup because of his eyes and we don't want anything getting those eyes as they're healing and it breaks my heart because he loves to climb and stuff and he's super bored. But this is Sterling feeling good. This is what he does. He's literally poking at the top of his tank because he wants out. You can kind of see there the scar tissue over his eye. But that one is looking lots better. But yeah, that is that is a starling who feels good. And here we have a sleeping dragon in her natural habitat. It never ceases to amaze me how beautiful Zaz's colors are when she's asleep. When she's at her most relaxed, her oranges are so pretty. But yeah, this is ass sleeping. She's cute. Today's Monday, and as always, I am wrapping up this week's vlog so I can get it edited. Sorry if you can hear the thousands of dogs in my backyard. They're always barking. They're not in my backyard, they're my neighbors. Anyways, and also you can probably hear my husband cooking dinner. So, sorry if it's a bit noisy. Yeah, this week's vlog was definitely shorter than usual because... They didn't do much <laughs> other than going Repicon and I already posted that a couple days ago. I am getting a blue tongue skink in T minus three days. Three days. I'll be getting my blue tongue skink in three days and I'll be so excited. But that is all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching another one of these vlogs. If for some reason you want to see even more pictures and videos of my animals throughout the week, you can head on over to Instagram and follow me there at Bubble 62 If you like this video, please feel free to like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I put up new videos every single Sunday slash Wednesday. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.